In this video today, I'm going to show you how I took this wood right here and made an awesome pair of nightstands for our bedroom that look just like this and how you guys can do it too. Let's get into it. Alright, so what we got here is four 28 inch 2x2s two and everything else up here is 12 inches long. We can do that because everything's going to be square. It's all going to be the same on all four sides except the drawer when we use our miter to cut just the blade width out. But other than that, we don't even have to worry about it. We're just going to remove everything except the 2x2s two right now and we're going to start working on the legs. First thing we're going to do is start working on the basic frame. We're going to take pocket holes, put it in all the 12 inch pieces, and then we're going to attach it to the 28 inch pieces. Let's get our glue and our pocket hole screws and let's put them together. We need four of them and on all of them, make sure the pocket holes are actually facing upward like I have here. I'm going to start putting the frame together. We're going to glue and just use pocket hole screws. And after all those are glued and we got pocket holes in all of them, we're just going to take our clamp right here and we're going to make sure this is nice and flush. This is the easiest way to do it. We've got our pocket holes in the back. As you can see, it's not quite straight. We got it flush up there, but we need to push the bottom just a little bit, get it nice and straight before we screw it in. Then we're just gonna do the rest on the other sides, except one side. We're gonna need one side for a drawer, so only do this on three of the sides, and then decide which face you want to be your drawer face. I lost my best friend. And before we start working on the drawer, we're going to go ahead and start working on the top. What I've got here is the 1x6, the 1x4, and another 1x6, and this is just the perfect length. We're just going to glue it together, and then we're going to clamp it and let it sit for about 10 hours. That way we can work on other things while it's drying. Now after we finally got it all sanded, what I decided to do for the drawer slides was take this tack strip and I cut it into 10 pieces and I put the drawer in where it's nice and fit and then each tack piece I would glue and then I would take my staple gun and staple it in, get it nice and sturdy Then I would take my next piece and do it right on top of that one, tap those screws in if they're out just a little bit. I did three on each side and then one on top of those with the smooth side facing up. And that way the drawer slides nice and smooth on it. 
Also, something you can do if these don't work very well for you or that is just not that smooth, you can take some, like a bar of soap or maybe a piece of wax and just run it right over uh, those slides and also on the bottom of the drawer and it will last for a long time and make it very smooth to open and close. It's looking good. Now just so I can make sure the top is on secure, what I'm gonna do is put pocket holes in all four uh, center parts on each side and then I'm gonna screw into the top after I glue it on. Before we do that, let's get the bottom braces on. I put these four inches from the bottom. We already had them pre-cut and pre-drilled. Just make sure the pocket holes are facing upward when you have this thing flipped over. That way when it's right side up, uh, they will be facing towards the ground. And that way you don't have to cover them up as bad or you can just fill them in and nobody will even notice. Normally I would stain the top and paint the the frame before I glue it together but for some reason I forgot and already glued it together and I didn't feel like taking it apart. It's fine um, but you'll get much nicer lines and a cleaner look if you do it that way. On the second one I decided to do it that way and it did come out just a little bit cleaner but I was really careful with this one uh, so it came out really well. But the paint we're using is a, a peach mixed with white and gray. Uh, my wife picked it out actually and she uh, is really good at that stuff. I don't know how she finds these kind of colors, uh, but it looks really good. And the stain is a stain I've used many times. It's called Kona. It's a stain and poly mix. And this is how it turned out. I'm actually a really big fan of how it turned out. We've got one for both sides of the bed. My wife likes them a lot. She's been asking for some. Um, I actually made these for our anniversary not too long ago. It's pretty cool. It's got a nice drawer. It slides in real nice and smooth. It's sturdy. And it's so much better than that crap uh, at the beginning that we got from Walmart. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, like, and I will see you guys in the next one.